So guys, today I bring you a gameplay trailer of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and I will warn you, it looks incredible. Those hyper levels are going to be through the roof. Trust me people, now if you haven't seen this yet, check it out right here and I'll give you my thoughts on it after. Darkness washes over the land. Dun dun dun. Dragon Lord has returned! Ha 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 ha, fools! Your party of heroes can't stop me! Who's ready to rickety role play? Spoiler, it's you, baby. be asking, Tina, where are there guns in a fantasy world? And I am just so glad you asked because shut up your face and get shooting! Ah! Ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! All right, trailer over. No end credit scene here. This ain't no super duper hero movie. So how great did that look, guys? I mean, I'm loving more or less every single aspect to this trailer the amazing looking new characters cannot wait to learn about them i like the hints uh big head mode from borderlands i like the basically it just looks like borderlands but just better dare i say it i mean yes it's early days to assume that but borderlands 3 to me was a big hit i really enjoyed the game i mean it wasn't quite borderlands 2 but it was still a great great game but this to me just looks like it's going to be one better now in terms of the gameplay it does look a lot like borderlands as you would imagine but some of the abilities we see here look absolutely incredible and i cannot wait to learn more about them and the players that use these abilities we also see snippets at new areas too now whether these are different worlds whether these are just different parts to the same world but what really stands out to me and i can't wait to explore is the kind of piratey treasure islandy themed area where we see all these amazing looking enemies the skeletons the sharks with legs that are running at you the big sharks that run on all fours i mean it just looks absolutely amazing i cannot wait to learn more about it and as per usual guys there will be that loot for us to farm for now i've said this in the past and i'll say it again when it comes to these looter shooters in my opinion 2k gearbox they know exactly what they're doing and they get it right in my opinion almost all the time so yes all those details right now on the game are a little scarce i mean we know a little bits and bobs but in terms of the characters new characters we will learn and play with what we can do what we can build what we can experiment with i mean the details are scarce i mean going off the trailer we can see that there's quite a few abilities being thrown about here there's quite a few new kinds of weapons like swords i'm seeing i'm seeing amazing looking bowls we're seeing quite a few melee weapons i'm seeing tons of loot 
In fact, I actually see a couple of weapons straight from Borderlands 3, I believe. But yeah, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This was PS5 gameplay, like I said. This is released on March 25th, 2022. Uh, it seems as though there are going to be three editions, Standard, Next Level, and the Chaotic Great Edition. And as soon as we do have more details on the game, obviously, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Now, I built up a little community when it comes to Borderlands through BL3. And I'll be sure to be posting plenty about this and playing and covering it on my channel when it does release. Now, like I said, as soon as my info comes, I will have you code right here on my channel. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. But yeah, people, I cannot wait. Tell me your thoughts down below. Uh, what you think about the trailer, what you think about the gameplay, how does it look to you? Do you think it looks fun as I do? Do you think it looks like that typical Borderlands game? Which we all know just won't let us down. What do you think? Let me know down below. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.